Welcome. This is the T in Ready Math Practice Test for Grade 6, question number 12 for now. Mario has two and a quarter pounds of trail mix. He puts equal amounts of trail mix into six bags for a hike with friends. If he uses all the trail mix, how many pounds will be in each bag? Enter your answer in the space provided. So this is, since they're he's dividing it, he puts it into equal amounts, which means he's dividing it into equal parts. This is a division question. So I have two and one fourth, and I'm dividing it by six. There are a few ways that you could do this. Um, the thing I'm going to do is use the old keep it, flip it, switch it. Once I convert them to a form, I can work with both of them. So I have two and one fourth. That's fine, whatever. Don't care about that. Um, in order to do keep it, flip it, switch it, it makes way more sense to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction, which would mean that it's a fraction where the numerator is too big. Multiply there because I have two groups. Essentially, this would be one group of 4 over 4, another group of 4 over 4, and then another group of 1 over 4. That's what this represents. But instead of adding 4 and 4 and writing all this out, you can do 4 times 2 and get 8, and then you're going to add here. So 4, 8, 9, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 more is 9, so it's 9 fourths. Any number like this that you see as a standard number, a whole number, um, is over 1, unless it already has a denominator. A million divided by 1 is a million, 6 divided by 1 is 6, so I'm going to convert this into a improper fraction, but just to say that that's a way I can write it as a fraction. So the first step is keep it, so I'll just keep this one. I'm just going to bring it down, leave it as it is. Then I'm going to flip it, which means I'm going to flip the second one. Magical. And then finally, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to switch this terrible dividing sign into a multiply, or the dot, or whatever you'd rather do here. And then I can solve. The thing about multiplying fractions is you simply multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. So 9 times 1 is 9. 6 times 4 is 24. And if you don't believe me, this is a calculator section, so you could simply um, make the adjustments that you need to make by typing it into your calculator. That is okay. Now, this is actually an equivalent of the final answer, so they will accept this as an appropriate answer choice unless they state otherwise. You'll notice that they don't say simplify. They just say enter your answer. So they're actually okay if you would put 9 24 in there. However, if this ends up being a multiple choice style question on the actual test, they're going to want you to simplify. So all you have to do is, if you have no other plan, I mean, most of you will see immediately that 3 goes into these two numbers. Um, but if you have no other plan, look at division by 2, division by 3, and division by 5. If I have 4 eighths, for instance, I can see that 2 goes into this, and that reduces down to this and I divide 8 by 2 and it gives me this and I'm saying okay let's we'll keep going until I run out of things that work so 1 over 2 well it's not divisible by 3 5 or 2 so I'm done and if you had this 3 would not work 2 would not work but 5 certainly would so this would go down to this just be aware if you have no other plan to simplify use these three as I mean it's not going to catch every single one but it's going to catch a lot more than most things will and then just keep going until you can't you exhaust the possibilities so two doesn't work but three certainly does nine divided by three is three and if you want like it's even more of a problem for you just put the factors down it's okay nobody's going to judge you if you have the time to do it do it if you don't have time to do it don't I'm like it's fine. Do whatever you need to be doing to get the correct answer. Now, um, as you can see, 24 was on that line, so 8 goes there. So that's my final answer, 3 over 8. But again, they don't ask me to simplify. They simply ask for the answer. So you could put 9 24 there, and it would be just fine. They're, they would probably accept you doing it as a decimal as well. They don't say otherwise. Generally, my rule is that if you have it, if the initial 
problem is in fraction form. You want your answer to be in fraction form as well, but there's no stipulation that that has to be true here. So choose your own adventure is what I'm saying.